In Act 5, Scene 1 of Henry IV, Wooster and Vernon join King Henry, Prince Hal, Lord John, Sir Walter Blunt and Falstaff on the battlefield. The king criticizes Wooster for making war and asks again if the rebels will not stand down. Wooster explains that he thinks the king himself is responsible for the uprising, as he swore not to depose Richard II, but did so anyway and took the throne for himself. The king says that Wooster and the Percys have made these claims before, but that they are exaggerating. Prince Hal then challenges Hotspur to single combat to prevent widespread bloodshed. Prince Hal and King Henry predict that the rebels will reject King's renewed offer of pardon because Hotspur and Douglas are too hot-headed. Everyone leaves except Prince Hal and Falstaff. They talk briefly about the battle to come and Prince Hal leaves. When Falstaff is left alone, he talks about how honour, the reason all men fight, is worth nothing compared to staying alive and healthy. In this scene, Wooster and Vernon meet with the King and his core loyal supporters to give their response to the offer Sir Walter Blunt delivers in Act 4, Scene 3. As opposed to the King's behaviour in Act 1, Scene 1, when he treats Hotspur harshly for not turning over his prisoners, here the King demonstrates generosity and diplomacy. Unlike the rebels, he's willing to risk his own personal honour to save his army and reunite his country, a tremendous sacrifice that stands in direct contrast to the rebels' constant bickering about petty symbols of honour. When the rebels turn down the king's offer and repeat their complaints, they show their cause to be hollow and themselves rigid. Their behaviour also justifies Falstaff's monologue on honour. What is honour? A word. Who hath it? He that died a Wednesday, doth he feel it? No. However, the king's behaviour forces the reader to question Falstaff's logic.